Oh. Oh, he's gonna come over. Once again, I fail to understand what causes a person to assault another person for holding a camera, and even less what causes other people to support that person committing the assault. But this video that was recorded by Silent J is yet another great example of why every auditor, if they don't carry, should at least carry pepper spray. And before we jump into this, we want you to know that we'll leave links down below to the full original video on Silent J's channel. And also keep in mind that we've been keeping an eye on our analytics, and we've noticed that less than a fifth of our viewers are actually subscribed to us. And I for one would love to see that number balance out ASAP. Therefore, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you click on that subscribe button down below, thumbs up button, and notification bell. Now let's take a look at how this interaction began. Just over here evicting a homeless person from the shelter. That's what the cops are doing. They kicked this homeless lady out of the shelter. And then we're like, we don't give a f where you go. Just don't sleep under a bridge or where the public can see you. I wonder what you gotta do to get kicked out of the homeless shelter. Probably not much, it's a state ran agency. I got all you on film. Say hi. You got 275 viewers watching. Losers. You got me on film. Oh. Is that why you guys didn't throw her down? Put her in handcuffs? Because I got you on film? Now the thing that Silent J was catching on camera was the police officers evicting a woman from a homeless shelter. I'm not exactly sure what she did to cause herself to be kicked out of this place, and I don't know very much context in regards to that, aside from her being kicked out by the police. So for all I know, the cops were doing this all for the right reasons. Or for the wrong reasons, y'all can speculate in the comments down below, but that's not the important part here. The important part is, as Silent J is recording from across the intersection, there's another guy that comes in whose name is Robert, and I'll explain to you very soon why he chose to assault this man with a camera. And I can safely assure you right now, it's not just because because he's a major bootlicker who thinks he can play hero around the police. Let's roll the tape and show you what I mean. My ass is grass, huh? Oh. Ooh, he's gonna come over. Hit me again, mother. You better get the out of here. Hit me again, mother. Better get the out of here. Hit me again, mother. Come on. Yeah. Hit me again, mother. You little bastard. Hit me again, mother. Hit me again, mother. I'd like to press charges. That guy just hit me. That guy just hit me, and I want to press charges. That guy just hit me and I want to press charges. That guy walked across the street and made physical contact no, with me. You're lucky. No, You're, I lucky. I no, You're lucky I didn't cut you. You're lucky I didn't cut you. I got it on video. No. Here. Don't tell me what to do, man. I was Stop just talking. assaulted. Stop you. Talking. I, I want to press charges. Stop that guy just talking. assaulted me. That guy just assaulted me and you watched it. You watched it. If you apologize, I won't. I won't I press charges. To you. You're a dirty criminal. You're a. F bitch. Hang on tight. Step back over here. He's got a knife, dude. He's I do a have a knife. He pulled a knife. I did pull it on him after he hit me. He a knife I have it on video. He a knife I was recording from across the street, and this guy walked across the street and hit me. I have every right to defend myself. Okay. Is the knife back in your pocket? It is right here, sir. If you leave it there, I'd appreciate it. Okay. If you would like to hold on to it, you can. Okay. He hit me. No, I don't believe I'm injured, but I would like to press assault charges. 
I was very happy to see this auditor pull out a weapon to defend himself, as any auditor should, or at the very least carry pepper spray on them, but I was pretty mad when I figured out that the cops were not doing anything to arrest the assaulter. But there's no need to worry, ladies and gentlemen. This actually has a happy ending in it. So I looked in the community tab of Silent J's channel, and I found this post right here containing a bunch of evidence that Robert was brought to justice. As we can see right here in this court letter, comes now in the name and by the authority of the city of Casper, Wyoming, the undersigned who being duly sworn on oath says that on or about August 10, 2023, in the city of Casper, county of Natrona, state of Wyoming, the above captioned defendant did then and there unlawfully violate one or more subsections of the following ordinance, which is assault and battery under subsection A. Whoever in a rude, insolent, or angry manner unlawfully touches another is guilty of an assault and battery. And this letter was signed by the deputy city attorney himself. Now I'm very happy to see that Robert got brought to justice for his assault, but then you have this police report right here. Now it says a lot of things in this, but I'm just going to read you a snippet of what was said. Now remember when I said before that the reason why Robert assaulted this man is not just because he was a bootlicker? It states right here in this paragraph in the first sentence of interview with Robert that he told Officer Gonzalez that he observed Smith across the street filming the officers with his cell phone and didn't appreciate it. Yeah, well, I don't appreciate the fact that some people have blue line flags on their yard. Am I going to knock on their door and assault them? Just because he didn't appreciate something means that he resorted to violence. What an absolute joke, and I am so glad he's being served justice. And to all those comments that say that Silent J deserved to be assaulted, you are just as much of a joke as Robert if not more. And y'all can let me know what you think in the comments down below, but riddle me this. What exactly did Silent J do to deserve being assaulted by somebody? If you can come up with a reasonable explanation as to why that is, aside from him exercising his First Amendment right to freedom of speech and press, then color me purple. And as for Silent J, we're gonna leave links down below to his full original video, as well as his channel, so you can go get subscribed. And also, don't forget to check out our secondary channels on YouTube. That being Sky J the First and Red Handed Body Cams. With all that said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for tuning in once again, and we will see you all tomorrow. The only thing we want you to do is never stop loving the Constitution.